And just as an aside, I want to say that another version of this, at least I'm not as bad as so-and-so, kind of looking laterally or below us uh, to size up our moral condition rather than up to Jesus. But there's a, a version of it that's common in our culture, which is that <clears throat> all that matters is that you're nice. I'm basically a nice person. Are you basically a nice person? Basically a nice person. That's all it means, you know. That, that somehow all that matters is that other human beings think of us as nice. Well, brothers and sisters, we are not called to be nice. We are called to be holy. Now, niceness has its place. I don't think we should walk around and be rude and ugly and impolite. But you know, if you're really on the road to holiness, you're going to irritate a few people. And sometimes you're going to have to speak the truth in love. And sometimes you're going to have to rebuke. Jesus did not end up on that cross by being basically a nice guy. He was a prophet. He agitated. He introduced tension. He demanded obedience. You see, Holiness is not to be equated simply with niceness. There's too much of this thinking today that we've reduced holiness to a human thing. It's not human, it's divine. And therefore, the problem of having an Im a problematic perspective isn't just that I look down on people or think that I'm going to make it just by being better than so-and-so, but the problem is that we tend to take holiness, which is exalted and glorious and tremendous and radical, and we reduce it to just basically being nice. And any human being can pull off. I, I know plenty of unbelievers who are basically a nice guy. The question is, are we becoming holy? So please understand, holiness is awesome. It is radical. It involves a tremendous transformation of the human person, which will not often fit into this world and which will become an annoyance to aspects of this world. We're heading for tough times. Our culture is increasingly moving away from biblical norms. It's going to take holy men and women to stand up to this and to live in this kind of a world. Nice people are just going to go along to get along. Holiness, holiness is demanding, it's radical, and it involves a complete transformation. So you see what I'm 